What's up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you another episode of Let's Blindly Play The Walking Dead. In the last episode, we went into Crawford, and things are starting to get shitty. But anyway, I thought I would let you know ahead of time that I might start post- or er, not post. I might stop- huh. My words are coming out all wrong here. I might start live narrating my LPs. The only exception will be is the Harvest Moon one right now, and the ones that I've already pre-recorded, I will post-narrate them, but the quality might be a little shitty in the audio. I tried doing the webcam in Camtasia while I was, like, post-narrating at didn't work. I'm gonna have to live narrate from now on while I'm recording my game footage, so... Also, bear with my lack of creative commentary at first, because it'll get me a while to get used to. Anyway, on to the game at hand. Oh, shit. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Yeah, what is she doing? Uh. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Oh, well, why don't you try? And open it without the combination. Wait, is there like a way to find the combination or something? I mean, if there has to be something. Alright. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Ooh. Wait. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. Two. I've already been fired. They're worthless. Two. No, there's nowhere else to go. Pretty much, so I'm gonna have to go down here. Okay, that's. Oh! Little help! Oh Little my god, help what's here. going on? A surprise. 
You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Let's... Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Well, good for climate time. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. All right, let's just talk to Bree. Bree? No offense, but I'm not really looking for conversation. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just don't particularly like you. If this is no. about Vernon, I did what I had to do to get him to help us. I was only looking out for my people. And I'm looking out for mine. That's the only reason I'm here. So, if there's nothing else... Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery, or help with the medicine. Well, bitch. So, like... <laughs> what do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. No, not yet. it's not now. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Well, let's look at the school map again. We're gonna have to leave, aren't we? So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through Why here. Why would they even need medicine, though? I mean, they'll throw them out otherwise. Where is the nurse's office? Aha! If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's just leave. Okay, nurse's office is where? No? Where the hell is the nurse is off is? I'm scared now. nurse's office. I'm scared. Oh. 
Shit. Shit. Okay. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Son of a gun. wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. Yeah, how the hell are care. they everywhere? What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should yeah. just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Yep, Carter. What the hell? No tape inside. Shoot. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Oh, okay. Might as well look to bed. Time to rest later, I think. Oh, well, okay. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. No, I'm not going out the hallway. Not working. Looks like some kind of medical file. Take it. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? We can go to the camp quarter now. Sweet, but where? Let's go to three and put the tape in. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Wow! Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. 
I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him. See what he's got on him. Oh. I don't really want to look at the... Oh, I don't want to go and look at him. I really don't want to go and look at him. Where? Wait. I'm scared as F now. was only four numbers. Oh. Shit, time to go. Yeah, time to go! Time to go! Here's the... Ooh! Wait. No. Let's uh, go in here. I found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the ah, day after birthday! the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. No. 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 I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Uh. 
Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. All right. So... Don't take too long. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Okay. Whatever. Those are tapes. No, that's a chair. Um... Must have been from when that woman stabbed the doctor. Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. Oh, drawers. Nothing in here, I guess. Ah. Uh, well, first aid kit. Are we in business? Uh, already cleaned out. I said it was done. Why do you have to take everything? I mean. You know what? Sonogram. No. Ah, really? Well, that's shit. Um, anything over here, though? You know what? I'm just gonna leave. I think I'll end this episode off now. See you guys in the next video.